want to create a beautiful blog page like this, I'll show you how you can create it using WordPress and Elementor. No coding required. Let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is to log in directly into WordPress site. Once you are into your dashboard, make sure that you have an active plan before we can continue. Now let's focus into the lab pod and scrolling a little bit down, focus into plugins. Into plugins, I focus into add new plugins, so we wanted to make sure that we have the elements or directly into WordPress. So if I click here into search plugins, I'm going to type the word Elementor. Then you want to choose the application of the Elementor and go for install now. In this case, I already have this. So assuming for example that this is the Elementor application, let's go for install now and go for activate. Now that this is activated, we wanted to see that we have now the Elementor into the left side. Here is the Elementor section. Now let's create a new page for your blog. If you want to create a blog, let's focus into the section that says Pages. Into Pages, let's go for All Pages, Add New Page, and click into Add New. We can name this a blog or whatever you want, and hit the power button so we can start editing with Elemental. It says into the upper side. Now that we are into the area of WordPress, we can see that we now have the edit with Elementor. If you don't have this option into Elementor, you want to make sure that you have the Elementor uh, plugin activated into WordPress, otherwise it just won't work. So now let's click into edit with Elementor. Now it says loading, and we are now inside the editor, inside the new editor of Elementor. This is the part we wanted to get started with the two options, to start with a pre-designed template or to build a blog page from scratch. If there is no template for you to use in this free version, you don't have to worry because we have this element tools that we can use for free. When it says drag widget here, we can of course focus into widgets and start with an actual container. This is how an actual container looks. So let's go for heading, image, text editor. Now we have three elements that we can edit into our Elementor tools. My title will be WordPress versus Google Sites. Here's my image and down here is my information. The first thing I wanted to do before editing stuff is to put all the info and all the content inside my blog. Later on, I can give them some design and customization. So it says choose image, we can upload files or insert from a URL. For example, I can type Google Sites, select one image that I would like to use for my blog, which is here. And I choose to copy the address of my image. So I can paste it here. And here's my image. So align, let's go for the center and insert to my post. So WordPress versus Google Sites. And here I would have typed uh, something about uh, Google Sites and WordPress. So I have now the container, go back into add element and I'm gonna add a new image. So as you can see, I am creating content. I am importing all the content. Then later on, I can start my design. So take the time to fill all the information about your posting. Here's another header. Let's go for WordPress benefits. And I'm going to add a call to action inside the adding elements. We have a video and there's a button. So it says click here. I'm going to go and select the section. It says click here for learn more. Now that I have the elements that I wanted to see into my block section, I wanted to give them a customization. So to customize elements, just click into the element that you wanted to customize. We can see that we have this section that says style. Into style, we can change the alignment. We can change the text color. In this case, let's try it out with something easier. We can change the typography, for example. We can change the stroke, the text shadow, and the blending mode. Here's the advanced elements you want to see, for example, margin, width, orders, border, background, uh, motion effects, and much more. Of course, those are a few elements that are only available for the upgraded version. So if you don't have this version available, then you might not be ready to get started with these new features. Now I'm going to click once again into the style, now for the image. So the same thing happens here. Advanced mode, positions, motion effects, Fade in right left. And there we go. Once you finish with the customization of your information, it's time to focus into the section that says published. But before you create the published, you have this eye that says preview my changes. If I click into preview changes, it's going to be popping up this new section where you can check out how it actually looks my block. So as you can see, I have really easily animations that I can edit later. And I have this elementary page, security pants, for example.
head over to published. My page is now live. If you wanted to create more blogs with the same page that you're currently using, then it's time to save this as a template. Into the upper side, go for the section that says save as template. Enter template name. Let's go for blogs and save it. Now I can create a new block with exactly the same tools that I'm seeing here into my library of the Elementor. And there you go. The other solution is to go into the library of Elementor and here you can focus into pages. And into pages you can look out for a block section that can be helping you to start not from scratch. So for example here is one template that we could have used, which in this case here is the headline about a section, the services, why to choose them, whatever. So whether you're using the manual version or the free version or template to generate blogs, these are a great way to generate elements here with the element you're inside the WordPress. And just to add this element into my menu of the WordPress, let's go back into the dashboard of the WordPress. I'm going to close this for a while. And inside now the dashboard of the WordPress, let's focus here into the left part. Let's locate appearance. Into appearance, let's locate menus. And into menus, we can add a new menu just in case you don't have a menu. And here's my pages. And here is the element or article that we have created, which in this case, here it is. And I add it to the menu and you're good to go. And that is how you can create a fully functional blog page using WordPress and Elementor. If this video helped you guys, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more WordPress tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully we can all see you next time.